The Beaverton's Portraits of Canadiosity, Martin Luther King Jr. Without a doubt, Martin Luther King Jr. was one of the greatest Canadians ever to be born, live, and die in the United States. Dr. King was a true advocate of progressivism, which has been a uniquely Canadian value ever since we got free health care during the New Deal. Born in 1929, King was destined for greatness, like many other Canadians, such as Mike Myers. King completed his Canadian Studies PhD in 1955 at Boston University, which is reasonably close to Canada, and soon became one of the leaders of the Montgomery Bus Boycott, along with fellow Canadian, probably, Rosa Parks. To many, the height of King's career came with the 1963 March on Washington, when he delivered his famous oration about how Canada was less racist than the United States and Canadians should feel good about themselves. King was a staunch opponent of the Vietnam War, which Canada also did not like, further proving that we are involved in this great story. But one man alone could not end racism in America, even fueled by his regular double-double and apple fritter. In 1968, King was assassinated, despite the heroic efforts of his best friend, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. But King's legacy lives on. Fifty years later, America voted for Barack Obama and elected its first black Canadian president. This has been a Beaverton portrait of Canadiosity. We're also taking credit for RFK.